India's two earlier expeditions have submitted their environmental study reports that were necessary for building India's third Antarctica station. National Center for Antarctica and Ocean Research now plans to start work for India's third station from next year. India's first station at Antarctica was named Gangotri which came up in 1980s. Second station at this continent is called Maitri. Now the next ambitious project of National Center for Antarctica and Ocean Research is to have third Antarctica station. It will be called Bharti. On Tuesday at Donapol, mementos were given to team members of 25th and 26th Antarctica expedition. Report by both the teams will help in building India's third Antarctica station. These scientists and officials have stayed in harsh climate of Antarctica for many months. As you know, we are going to have uh, the third station. And in the Antarctica, if you construct a station, you have to prepare an environmental report and you have to present it before an international body telling them what are the human uh, footprints that you will be creating. So for uh, doing that, we had to carry a detailed environmental study, which uh, our people have done and they have submitted a report. And as you saw in the presentations, it was a big uh, achievement that India has done. And Already the process has started. The process has started. This year we are going to make a road. And once the road is made from the landing site to the station site where the station will come up, so maybe the next year then the construction will start and after that uh, we can move in. This third station, Bharti, will be used for collecting scientific data through the year. To study the Earth's atmosphere in better way, Indian scientists are also studying the Arctic region in North Pole. India's next expedition to Arctic region will go in February. A senior reporter from Panji, Rakesh Kandurkar, with video journalist Ganesh Hotkar for Prudent Media. The newly constituted All Goa Schools Management Association has urged the government to give representation to their association in issues concerning education in Goa. The association that has been revived after nearly two years has vowed to tackle problems like dropout rates and lack of proper infrastructure of schools in the rural areas. After being sidelined in matters related to education in Goa, the All Goa School Management Association has urged the government to give representation to the newly revived association. President of the association Anil Khauto has said that rather than going to the other associations like the Parent Teacher and Headmasters Association, the government should deal with this association as it is the managements that are solely responsible for the overall education in the state. Government should get PTA, Parent Teacher Association and Headmaster Association through Goa School Management Association. If this, this, is, it, it, this is rooted through Goa Management Association, then things could be much better because all these Parent Association and the uh, Headmaster Association are under the control of the respective management. But they have always kept them dark. You know? okay. We would like to appeal to the government. We would like to appeal to the government to take Goa Management School Association, which will be now more operative, into confidence. And in case they have got any problem, instead of passing directly to the other 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 association, which, which are the subsidiary of the Goa Management Association, you know, they should pass it through Goa Management Association. Prashant Naik appealed to the government to permit private schools to start government-aided primary sections. Several of our private schools were earlier depending on the government primary schools for their intake for fifth. The students were coming from government primary schools to high schools and the managements were running only high schools, no primary schools as such, high schools and higher secondary schools. As many of these government schools have closed, uh, there is no student, there are no students for the fifth standard in these private managed schools. So we have a request with the government that you also allow us to start private schools. Uh, primary school. These managements which do not have primary school, section, primary, primary section, mm -hmm. they may be allowed to start primary section from this next academic year. A reporter from Panji, Jason Suarez, with video journalist Yashwan Paraf for Prudent Media. Margao Municipality and Margao Municipal Garden will be lit with the lights generated by solar energy soon. Goa Energy Development Agency will take up this first project in Margao. Under government scheme, Murgaon Municipality will put up solar lights in Murgaon. Murgaon Municipal Council and Murgaon Municipal Garden are the two places where almost 60 solar lights will be lighted. Chairperson of Murgaon Municipal Council give us more details. GEDA, uh, Goa uh, Energy Development Agency, uh, they uh, provide these street lights. 
and maintenance has to be done by the local bodies. So in, in that respect, uh, we were thinking of uh, uh, submitting a proposal of 12 uh, such street lights around the building and about 48 in the garden. Basically, this will not only uh, be uh, save light bill as such, but it will also uh, be a first uh, project in Margao uh, to use alternate sources of uh, energy. This is the first project in Mudgaon. This will also help the state in saving electricity and make use of alternate energy sources. A reporter from Mudgaon, Samir Bhatt for Prudent Media. Now let's have a look at some other events that took place all over the state. The cooperative sale of BJP has submitted a memorandum to the North Goa district collector urging the finance minister Pranab Mukherjee to exempt cooperative bank from payment of income tax. The memorandum was submitted by convener of BJP Cooperative Cell, Vithal Vernikar. The Industrial Training Institute at Altin Panji held an induction program for its new batch of students. The ceremony was attended by Santa Cruz MLA Victoria Fernandez, State Director of Craftsman Training Alex De Costa, Chairman of IMC Keshav Kamath and Principal of ITI DD Zoshi. An exhibition on environment and on nature was held at St. Xavier's High Secondary School at Mapsa. Students displayed various projects made by them. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. News from sports after a short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.